Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm back again in one of these void worlds that doesn't have anything built in it. This is because today I'm gonna build a new mini game in vanilla Minecraft using command blocks and I'm gonna do it on camera. So yeah, while I am speaking with you guys, so it's gonna be pretty much fun. Uh, I have done something similar like this before in another video. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, we'll leave a card appearing on this side of the screen. And in that video, you guys have requested me to create a paintball mini game with the same method. So that's what I'm going to do today. And before starting the video, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this series. And let's see if we can reach 1000 likes. And yeah, I think that we can finally go straight into the coding. So first of all, I want to mention that I don't want to put my attention into designing the level into making it look good because otherwise it would take me too much time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make the paintball mini game, all of its mechanics work and I'm gonna do it in, a, in the quickest way possible. So if I want to make something that is pleasing to the eye, I would probably do it in another type of video. All right, so let's get started. First of all, I need to give myself a command block. So let's use the slash give, give command. All right, because this is what makes everything work. Since paintball is a game played between two teams, I need to create two different teams. And I need to do it by using the slash scoreboard command and teams, and then add, if I'm not wrong, yes, and then red. And then I'm gonna add team blue because this is what most of the games have, a red and a blue team. Then I'm gonna take some sort of red block, I don't know, let's take the uh, red wool. And of course I need to take a blue wool in this case. Let's place the red wool here and the blue wool in the other side. So basically every time the player steps on one of these different wools, he will join the team. How does he do it? Well, of course I need to add command blocks. Let me take one of the these really nice and old pressure plates uh, again as i said guys i'm gonna use the simplest methods possible so in this case i'm gonna use the pressure plate but i could do it so basically the commands detect when a player is stepping on a red wool i know i could do that but it takes more time so i need to be quick for this video all right so let's place a command block down here and what i want to do i want first the player to be removed from any uh, teams that he is currently in so i'm gonna do slash scoreboard teams uh, maybe is it remove or leave it is leave and then uh, at P so to the closest player that is in a radius of five blocks from here all right now I need to add another command block here let's set it on chain and always active and then let's do scoreboard teams join red because in this case we are in the red side of the map and then closest player that is in a radius of five blocks from this command block here there we go so now if I do a quick test and if I do slash say at a uh, not tag but team equals red, it shouldn't tell my name. But if I step here and I do it again, yes, it tells my name. What I have to do now, I need to copy these command blocks here and do the same exact thing in the other side. But uh, instead change red with blue. Where is the pressure plate? Let's place it here. Let's place a really nice command block here. This one stays the same. And the second one changes. So I need to change red with blue. There we go. Let's cover everything up with this block here. And we are pretty, mu pretty much set up with the team. So now it doesn't say red, but it says if I'm in the blue team. Yeah. All right. So now I need to create a line of common blocks that makes the mechanics work. So the way I want this paintball mini game to work is uh, pretty simple. So I will give to all the players in the responsive teams some snowballs. There we go. And snowballs will basically be the projectiles. And these snowballs here will get a custom tag depending on which of the players shoots them. All right, so how am I going to do it? Well, first of all, uh, let's place another common block. This one is set on chain unconditional and always active. Here I need to do, um, I need to use the slash replace item. Where is it? Replace item and then entity. And then at a team equals red. And then I'm gonna do slot slash uh, hotbar, not slash, dot hotbar dot zero. So basically the, the first slot on the hotbar will be replaced with Minecraft colon snowball, one snowball with the data damage value of zero, and then this play colon, and then name colon, and then let's call it red team. So you know that you're in the red team. Uh, why is not doing it? Oh, yeah, because I'm not in the right team. So if I do it, yes, as you can see guys It gave me this one. So what I could do uh, same you using the slash replay replace item I could replace the armor of the player with a red dyed uh, leather armor But I'm not gonna do it because it's not relevant to what I need to do here I need to just recreate the mechanics in this video So I need to copy this command block here command here and in this case paste it here, but change red with blue and then I need to go at the end of the command 
and change the name of the snowball again so this snowball here will be called blue so now as you can see i'm holding a red um, a red team snowball but if i go here i have a blue team snowball all right and these snowballs here will be infinite um yeah i could do something that maybe gives them every i don't know 15 seconds every se uh, 10 seconds but again um it would complicate it too much and in today's video, I just want to recreate the mechanics of paintball. All right, so now I need to put another command block that basically changes the tag of this snowball that I launch, depending on the player that shoots them. So uh, one thing I think that I'm gonna use execute at e type equals snow snowball, and then uh, yes, relative to the snowball that is launched, I'm gonna see if there is execute at a team equals red or right and then also let's do it in a radius of five blocks and instead of at a let's use closest player at p it will give to this noble right so then let's use another execute again so at e uh, type equals snowball c equals one radius equals one and then relative to this oh basically i need to no, not use the execute command, but entity data. All right, entity data. Maybe you guys are not uh, understanding anything, but basically I'm gonna explain it in just a moment. So entity data at a type equals snowballed. Uh, the closest one in a radius of one blocks, it will get a tags colon, and then let's give it the tag named red, because in this case, the red player has shoot it. Maybe I could just eliminate this. So let's do execute at a team equals red. All right, let's do it because it's probably simpler. So what am I did here? All right, so basically I'm, re I'm executing relative to all players that have the tag red, basically all players that are in the red team. And relative to those players, all of the snowballs that are found in a radius of one from those players, they will get the tag named red. So now if I use this command slash say, say at a tag equals red, now it will not say anything. But if I shoot one snowball, it didn't say anything. Should I increase the radius? I think that I should increase the radius. All right, uh, let's launch it. Yes, it works. All right, snowball and snowball and snowball. They got the uh, the tag. All right, the, the radius of one, radius equals one was too small. So now these projectiles here will be launched by a red player and they will deal damage to blue players. So now I need to copy this command block here and do the same exact thing for blue players. So instead of red, I need to, to write blue here and again, instead of red here, I need to give the tag name the blue to the snowballs that are launched by a blue player here. All right, so now what I need to do, it's simple. Relative to, look at how simple it is. So I'm, I need to do relative to the snowballs named uh, with the tag red, I need to damage players that have a, that are in the blue team. So this is really simple, so execute. So let's use execute at a e uh, type equals tag equals red in this case it will trigger the snowballs that were launched by a red player and then i'm gonna do yes i need to use the tiles so i'm gonna do effect at a team equals blue radius equals one and then i'm gonna use at p so it takes only the closest player in a radius of one it will probably i need to do radius equals two because you saw the radiuses didn't really work so let's do radius equals two and then I'm gonna use instant and then underscore damage. And then let's give it for a one second with a uh, amplifier of zero. And then let's remove the particles. All right, so now let's do a test. I don't have any player to play with, but I can add, for example, a cow. I, need, I really like, as I said, I really like to test things on cows. So let's do slash scoreboard teams join blue uh, at a <laughs> type equals cow in this case this cow here joined the blue team and if i launch a snowball at it it should kill it come on why is it not working oh yeah because in this case it's triggering only players yes at p so let's do at e just for a moment and then i'm gonna change it back so in this case come on cow it should kill the cow after two times yes it works all right so it deals damage so yeah, we tested it, we know that it will damage players, and uh, let's change at E with at P, so it takes only players, and then what I need to do, again, I need to copy this command block here, and change everything for blue. So, 
tags equals blue. In this case, when a blue a snowball is launched, it will damage players that are in the red team, in this case, in a radius of two blocks. And that's it. Now what I need to do, I just need to uh, probably kill all of the snowballs. Nope. Yeah, kill all of the snowballs that are in a radius of two blocks, so it doesn't deal you damage too many times. So basically, when a snowball reaches a player, it will give damage and then it will be killed. So, execute at A, so to all players that are in team equals red, and then I'm gonna just kill all, the, all of the snowballs, type equals snowball, tag equals blue, all of the blue snowballs that are in a radius of two blocks. Alright, and then let's do the same thing in this case for the blue team. So every time that snowball, a red snowball is found close to a blue team, a blue player, it will be killed. Alright, so that that's pretty much it. Now, yeah, I, I should change everything if I wanted to test it on cows, but I know that it works on players. And that should pre be pretty much it, guys. How many common blocks did we use to create a paintball minigame? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 common blocks, guys. And I think that I did it like... In about 10 minutes yes i did it in about 10 minutes this thing works if you guys want to take a look at the commands if you want to download this word here i will leave a download link on my, my on my web page which is linked in the description of this video one uh, one thing that i could have done for example to determine which of the teams uh won the game i could see how many kills each of the team has done and then if one of the teams reach, reaches for example 50 kills I would let them win but again this is not part of the mechanics what I wanted to create today is just the mechanics of paintball and I have done it with eight command blocks let's say 12 if we add the other two that are used to join the teams but anyways guys look at how simple it is I mean of course it's simple if you know the command blocks but look at how quickly I have done it I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did so don't forget to drop a like under it and subscribe to the channel if you have if you haven't already I have a new one command creation finally coming out I know I didn't publish a one command creation for a really long time but I'm like 40 or 50 percent done and it is a dungeon generator so you you guys would probably like it a lot so stay tuned I will publish it probably tomorrow or in about two days and as always guys, thank you all for watching this video until the end, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you, bye!